Seeking the truth never gets old, even when it hides in the shadows. Immerse yourself in the world of June's Journey, a free-to-play hidden object game set in the Roaring Twenties. Solve the mystery of the devious gossip spreader and celebrate our 7th anniversary with exclusive events, never-before-seen decorations, thrilling mysteries, and exciting giveaways. The adventure and the gossip awaits. Are you ready for the journey? Download June's Journey today for free on Android or iOS. This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Do you have a point-of-sale system you can trust, or is it a real POS? You need Shopify for retail. From accepting payments to managing inventory, Shopify POS has everything you need to sell in person. Go to shopify.com slash system, all lowercase, to take your retail business to the next level today. That's shopify.com slash system. All right. Hey, hey, Cindy, how are you? So we're back here. For Deadly Roots, another episode. We're here with Cindy Bertrand Flores, and um, today we last week we talked about presidents and find out finding out who which U.S. presidents were related to people in the Mayflower and or related to serial killers as well, and that was kind of interesting. Uh, this week, because there's been so much in the news about assassination attempts, you know, a couple months ago Trump was, you know, had an assassination attempt where they grazed his ear and, you know, in a rally. And just this past weekend, there was another one. And they caught the guy. Fortunately, he didn't get any shots off. And so there's a lot of stuff going around, you know. I mean, what? who knows what's going to happen in these last couple months before the election, but it's it's that fever pitch. So we thought it was it would be interesting to kind of dive in to U.S. presidential assassinations and assassination attempts, because I, you know, people are like, you know, people think about them, and we, everyone knows the JFK one. Some people remember the Ronald Reagan one, Abraham and Lincoln, Abraham Abraham Lincoln's a big one, and so it's been happening in, the, in our history, our country's history, you know, for a long time. You know, Andrew Jackson, he, you know, he had an assassination attempt happen to him. So there's been a lot of presidents who have that people wanted to kill, you know, for political reasons. And obviously, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a screwed up world out there and you can't really control people. And, and so that's what we're finding out. And there's all this, and everyone thinks that the rhetoric of today is really bad. If you go back and read some of the newspapers from uh, when Lincoln was running for office and some of these other presidents, running, it was pretty brutal. It was pretty brutal. And these, when they would do these rallies, it, it used to get very, very, very heated. So it's just, I think it's human nature. I think it's one of those things that happens, unfortunately, you know, in other countries. I mean, recently in, in Mexico, uh, um, they had an election there for president. And I think like uh, numerous people that were, were up, that were running for office there got eliminated, got well, executed. And it, but it shouldn't well, happen in this country ever. No, I mean, happen. that's, it shouldn't happen anywhere, but it definitely shouldn't happen here. <clears throat> I mean, there's really no room for it. Here. Yeah. So I thought it was interesting to, to kind of look into that. And that's, you know, when we spoke to Cindy and we say, listen, can you do a deep dive on these, these assassins and the attempted assassinations and see if there's any kind of correlation that matches up to what we were looking at last week with us presidents and Mayflower um, pilgrims and or serial killers because we're finding out there's a lot of connections here. So, so the task we gave you, Cindy, tell us tell us a little about what the task we gave you and just kind of walk us through what you started to learn while you were diving into this. Sure. So after the assassination attempt on Trump with Thomas Crooks, I had already started building out his tree, so I was aware that he was related to certain other serial killers. Um, and then with the recent one, I jumped on that. I was like, oh, let me look into this guy's tree now. The records for his tree lit up right away. No problems. And I was able wow. to find his ancestors. A lot of easy to find records for that guy. I didn't even, somebody had, I asked that because I don't follow politics or anything that it had just happened. I said, what's the guy's name? This is before his name even came out. Somebody gave it to me and I was plugging it into the tree. And I knew exactly. I was like, that's the guy, North Carolina, born. I got his birthday in 1966. And that wanted to confirm, I said, can you tell me 
when the how old this guy was in North Carolina. Oh, yeah, that's the guy. So he was already, you know, I was already gung ho on adding him. And then he would ask me to look into. And other the guy that we're talking about, the guy we're talking about, just so everybody knows, is Ryan Wesley Ralph. That's yes. his name. Right. And then uh, I found the fact that he's a Mayflower descendant, and that excited me. He descends from five May Mayflower passengers. Please not me. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you, you're safe. You're, okay, your husband's fine. It's good. Um, and then your husband had asked me to look into other uh, assass assassins, attempted assassins. Well, let's, let's stick with him right now, and let's just talk about him. Let's talk about Ryan Wesley Ralph, because he's he's in the news right now, and he's he's being, you know, he was arraigned, I think, uh, uh, yesterday. And, you know, and they got him on a bunch of federal charges. Uh, and so let's talk about him because he, he also has a history, too. He has a he has a pretty long rap sheet, apparently, right. with law. And he had like he, he barricaded himself in a house and they had to get him out with SWAT. I mean, so he's got a lot of stuff going on. Oh, Lordy. So he's got he's got five Mayflower passengers. So if you have the list in front of you of which killers he's related to, I found it very interesting. And you'll see if you look at the ones he's related to. So he descends from Isaac Allerton, DeGory yeah. Priest. Wait, 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 start over again. He descends from who? Isaac Allerton. Okay. DeGory Priest. Mm -hmm. uh, Francis Eaton. Uh, Winslow, I don't remember his first name, and then John Howland. But if you look, he's triple related to Israel Keys. He's double related to, if you look at the list, I'm not sure. I don't have it in front of me. I think John Wayne Gacy. Hold on, let me um, just pull this up. So, uh, just off the top of my head. Okay, yeah. Let's slow down here. Let's slow down here. All right. So, um, do you, do you want to get the list in front of you so you have it? Uh, you can read off the. So he's related to on the Allerton line. Go ahead. Allerton line. Okay. Where is the Allerton line? Okay. So, John Wayne Gacy, Dennis Rader, Israel Keys. Uh, also, oh no, those that's the presidents and oh Randy Kraft. Right. And then if you go to the priest line. Which is right here. Going. So he's also, again, related to John Wayne Gacy, Dennis Rader, BTK, Dennis and Israel Rader. Keys. So he's doubly related to those killers. Three to the three. Of, so, oh, yeah. Three guys, uh, double related to the two, and then triple related to Israel Keys. So he's also on the Eaton line, which yeah. as far as Eaton, Francis right. Eaton, I believe there's one killer that descends from Francis Eaton. And then the rest, it's like beyond that. So, and then the Winslow and the Harlan one. Let me see. <clears throat> so wait, let's go back to Eaton for a second. It's not the grandfather Eaton. It's the son, no, right? It's, it's, yeah, he descends from the Mayflower Eaton. Let me just pull him up one second. Yeah, because we just have the grandfather. <clears throat> Francis. Francis Eaton. Um, oh, my eyes. An old lady eyes. Uh, Israel Keys. So that's the triple relation right there. Yeah. So this Israel guy, this guy who just attempted to kill Trump, is related yeah. to Israel Keys three times. Three, three and times. Israel Keys was a really prolific serial killer. Yes. And and I really like to plan it out like like how this guy was at the event or whatever where Trump was golfing for ten to twelve hours and staking it out. Israel Keys has a similar mo. I've heard because I don't follow them, where he would. Go and stalk the person like year a year before, leave stuff and then come back. So that's know, interesting. Know, an interesting correlation there. That's a really interesting yeah. correlation because this guy supposedly was living in Hawaii, was from North Carolina, went to this golf course with a bunch of stuff, like had been there for twelve hours. Who knows if he had been there before then? Maybe right. he had been stalking that golf course for weeks. Who knows? Right. That's an interesting <laughs> parallel between Israel Keys and him. And then when they, when he was discovered and the Secret Service uh, bared down on him, I guess fired some shots, he just left everything and ran to his car. And if it wasn't for someone who, a bystander who had taken a picture of his car and his license plate, because like, apparently it was right up against the fence where he was at. And there was only like, only like a little bit of a tree line. Then there was like some grass. And then there was a curb and then there was the shoulder where people can park on. So he only had about 20 feet to run to his car. So there was other cars parked on along there. And I think if, if they, that person didn't get his license plate or his car, he'd be still gone. He would have been gone. Yeah. Very interesting. Crazy. But the mm -hmm. fact that he, that other Israel keys was a planner and this guy was a and planner. And a stalker, like a, like a, 
Right. Israel Keys used to watch his victims. That was one of his MOs. Yeah. And apparently they were saying, news reports are saying that he spent time in Ukraine. He went over there for the war effort and wanted to fight. And they basically said he wasn't, he wasn't, obviously wasn't fit to fight. And they didn't, he didn't have any fighting experience and he wasn't a trained soldier. And they kind of labeled him kind of a cuckoo. And mm -hmm. so, and then they also reported him recently. I just found out they reported him to the U.S. government saying, this guy, you know, people in Ukraine, that you may about may want to watch out about this guy. Really? So yeah, so obviously he was exhibiting some very strange behavior. Now all these interviews are coming out. He did an interview with uh, Romanian TV or something, and you just listen to the guy, and he just he just sounds like a space cadet, someone who's very troubled and and was but very politically motivated to what he wanted to do. So mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know if there's any truth to that or not, but I'd heard he was in a BlackRock commercial. Then I heard the same thing about that other guy, yeah. Thomas Crooks. Thomas <laughs> Crooks. Well, they, yeah, they did identify Thomas Crooks. I, I, I also heard that that this guy was in a black. We got to confirm that. I mean, there's there's videos flying around. I mean, there's so much. When this happens, I'm amazed at how much information, whether it's accurate information or just curated misinformation, that gets thrown out there. So it's really hard. Tell. We need to fact check that. We don't know for sure. But that's Crooks true. was in a BlackRock video. That that much we do know. Yeah. And um, but that's that's crazy. It's crazy. But that's but interesting. But also, like you know, Dennis Ray. Look at some of these other killers that they're related to, like John Wayne Gacy, and BTK also stalk their victims. Very yeah. big planners. Very big planners. Like they were meticulous planners. Right. So that's like BTK. I mean, I mean, he got a job as a city uh, compliance officer in Kansas city. So he could go or with the town he was in. I can't remember which was it Wichita. I think it was Wichita. And so he could actually go and go door to door and basically go up and say, listen, your, your lawn is too long or you don't have the right proper fencing. I need to inspect the house. So he would able. Oh, wow. Yes. So talk about that. Okay. And he would be taking notes and then he would come back. And that's okay. how you, that's, that's how you, because that's what Israel Keys does. I just find it like these groups that he's related to, it's like double, triple, you know what I mean? To people yeah. that are the same, have that same type of uh, personality. You know, yeah. And Gacy right. too was a big planner as well. I mean, cause he'd have to plan to, you know, I mean, he, he was luring them into his house, bringing them back and then killing them and torturing them and doing everything, horrible things to him. So he had three of very prolific, planners and serial killers that this guy is related to, which I find is very interesting. Well, again, it goes to that. Is that a genetic code? Is there a gene that just goes awry and turns these people into shift onto the other side? Like that gene could maybe be used to be a surgeon and it gets, it gets damaged somehow and turns into this. I mean, is there a way, I mean, I really want to talk to someone in that world who works mm -hmm. with genetics and DNA and to understand how it can mutate or change. And if there's right. a way to be able to predict these things or their markers, mm -hmm. I mean, because it's, it's really interesting. Definitely. Now he's also on the Winslow line. I don't know. John, and he's also descends from John Helland. So on the Winslow well, line, wait, wait. say that again, start with the Winslow. Let's go Winslow. Winslow? Edward there. Winslow. Yeah. So Edward Kemper. Is on oh, that line. Kemper. Edmund Kemper, yeah. Edmund Kemper's on that line. He scares me. Know. Edmund Kemper know. scares me. Oh, wait, he, he, well, I heard what he did. Oh, shit. I mean, he yeah. took his cut his mom's head off and then he had sex yeah. in the bed. He, That's um, <laughs> yeah, he was, he was, he killed his own grandparents, this guy. He, he and scares he me. Crazy. Yeah. And then he descends from John Howland. Now, he's the first to descend from John Howland. The other ones, the Bushes, and there's somebody else, descend from John Howland's father. You have it there? Hold on. John. John Alden? No, Howland. Look at Howland. So, John, John Howland, your list will have the father. It'll say Mayflower father, Howland. Hold on. Towards the bottom of the list. Okay. Oh. I don't have it. Should have Howland. I don't have um, Howland. Okay, let me look it up. Howland, uh, John Howland, but it says down. 
Holland. Okay. So Ryan Routh and then the father. Okay. So um, Richard, oh, it's, it's Ted Bundy, Jody Arias, and the Bushes descend from John Howland's father. So, so this guy's related to Ted Bundy and Jody Arias as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that's fun. <laughs> okay. So Ryan Wesley Ralph is related. Repeat that again. Okay. So uh, he's related to Ted Bundy and Jody Arias through John Howland's father. And as well as the Bushes, Bush Jr. and Bush Sr. Wow. Oh, oh wow. presidential connection. It just came huh? to me. He's related to George Bush Jr. George Bush Sr. Exactly. Wow. Uh, I don't know, because there's a couple of other uh, of the these guys who were related to some presidents as well, which is interesting. That's crazy. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know if Ted Bundy was a planner. If George, I mean, Jody Arias, whatever. Ted Bundy was a planner. Yeah, well, he was a stalker and a planner as well. Yeah. And wait, Jody Arias was a stalker too. Well, Jody Arias, I mean, I don't know if she was so much of a stalker. I mean, I know that she, you know, it, the, the person that she brutally murdered was her boyfriend. So, right. you know, I don't know. I don't know if that constitutes well, that. She was, was very, you know, like, um, like making it happen. I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to convert to blah, blah. Very she manipulative. Never, yeah. Determined. Sorry. That I mean, be sure. <laughs> yeah, she was like, a, she was very ze zealous, and this mm. guy seems like he was like that too. Yeah he, yeah, he didn't hide his his contempt for Trump, I and mean, he was all over. I mean, they're going. They actually, I, I saw an article where they, I guess, Facebook shut down his Facebook page uh, because of all the stuff that was on there, and I think the government has it now, and they're going through it, and they're, you know, finding out what it is. But he made no bones about his contempt for. Trump and they even interviewed his son um, who basically said that, you know, his quote was, well, he hated Trump as most people do. So mm -hmm. it's like, it doesn't mean you kill him. Exactly. <laughs> Just because you don't like somebody doesn't mean you kill him. Don't vote for him. Don't vote for him. You know, but did, he didn't vote for him. He did the first time. No, no, he, no, 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 no. But he, he had, he had given money to democratic parties before. I think he donated to the Biden campaign and, uh, I don't know whether they donated to the Harris campaign, but that's the thing. I mean, you don't like somebody you're going to vote for. Don't vote for him. Yeah. Right. No one should die because they're running for, but you know, you know lately it's, ridiculous. it's escalated with all these bomb throwing. I mean, they, you know, they, well, let's not get into it. It's crazy. It. But, um, but that will incite people that have the propensity to take this to the next level. And if, as we see, if they have like a, it running through their DNA, you know, right. Who knows if this was the first time he tried to do this? Well, the thing is, if you're going to camp out somewhere for 10 to 12 hours, this mm -hmm. is not the first time you killed somebody. You're about to kill somebody. There, something's wrong up in here that you think it's okay for 12 hours. Yeah. So hundred percent he's killed before. I, I don't know if it was a mercenary or if he was in the military. I don't know. I don't um, think he was in the military. Oh, too, too crazy for that. But he had to have killed before. This is not the first time. There's no way. You think so? On a whim. You can't descend from these guys and sit in a bush for 10 to 12 hours planning out that you could. And he's already 55 years old. This is not the first time. He well, either that or he just has propensity to kill. I mean, because, you know, the other the other person we're going to be talking about is Crooks. You know, he had, he. I mean, we don't know what he has done. He was a young kid. He was a young kid. So we don't know if he, maybe if he was left to his own devices and he didn't get caught, maybe he would have killed more people. But yeah. once again, he was just, but the interesting thing is what, you know, you start getting into all these conspiracy theories about, mm -hmm. you know, how, how did they know what to do? How did they know where to go? You know, you have a, mm -hmm. I mean, Crooks was a young, young man. No military background. Yeah, but video games. Video games, but also he had the only, you know, he even got thrown out of his high school uh, rifle club because he wasn't that good. Yeah. He wasn't that good. So, but he did practice. So you have him and then you have this guy. We're still learning a lot about this Ryan Wesley Routh. Um, he didn't seem at all, according to all reports, news reports, that he's not, he was laughing and joking when they, they, they caught him. He's and he, clearly not. Yeah. And then, or either that, he believes that he's doing something that's right. You know, right. I mean, because everybody's saying, every party's saying the other one's threat to democracy. It's like you get, 
you know, it's obviously you got two people that have taken that to heart and, uh, but who knows what we're going to find out. Now, as far as Ryan Ralph's tree, he has four of the five markers. Well, he's on the Mayflower, so he's got, he has, yeah, he has four of the five markers. He's got the, the he doesn't have the recent era. It's, it's a little bit farther out. He's got a lot of German though. Um, so the difference, because he's got Southern roots, the Southern root, and then what happens is it's it's North Carolina, that area. I consider that to be Southern roots for quite a stretch. And then apparently was settled by, and I find this a lot when I'm hitting North Carolina, which I now have on my radar and they have an obelisk. I'm just saying, um, the people were in, in like Maryland, Connecticut, Massachusetts, and Pennsylvania went down. That's what I'm finding. That's who settled North Carolina. I would expect when I'm in the southern parts, North Carolina, South Carolina, that I'm going to find their ancestors coming out of Virginia and settling there. But more often than not, I'm finding the northern connection. So, but yeah, North Carolina is on my radar now. I'm like, oh, it's kind of like Kentucky. What's up with uh, South Carolina or North Carolina? Yeah. So. Yeah. No, it's, it's interesting. All right. Well, listen, we're going to, I want to follow him more. So let's, um, as more information comes out, we could probably figure out what what else is going on with him, but let's go, let's go to uh, Thomas Crooks because he looks like he's got a bevy of people that he's related to as well. Yeah. He's probably related to the most and he is related to John Hinckley who was, who tried to assassinate. Go ahead. Tell everyone. President Reagan. President Reagan. Yeah. So Thomas Crooks. No. Didn't he try to assassinate two presidents or just that one? No, just, just, just oh. no, he just, it was Reagan. Okay. okay. Who shot John Lennon? Oh, that was, um, we was are no, no, that was Kennedy. I don't know. I guess it seems like one of those. I don't know. Yeah. Hold on. We'll just take a pause for a minute. Mark David Chapman. Okay. So oh. Thomas Crook, who just attempted to kill Trump, like a month ago, mm-hmm. um, is also related to John Hinckley, the man who mm-hmm. attempted to kill Ronald Reagan. That's right. Wow. Well, they have that in common. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. What are the odds of that? And both of them connected with a bullet, and neither one of them killed the president. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Because oh, huh. Reagan survived, and so did, obviously, Trump survived. Interesting. Wow. wow. That's interesting. All right, so Thomas Crooks is related to a lot of these people. A lot of serial killers. He's yeah. related to John Hinckley. He's also related to James D'Angelo, mm-hmm. James mm-hmm. Michael Bear Carson, Eileen Warnos, mm-hmm. Paul Bernardo, Keith Jes- Jefferson, Jesperson, yeah. Jesperson, Brian Koberger from the Idaho murders. Mm-hmm. George Treppel. He's Diane, a Manson killer. Manson killer. It's called George Treppel's a Manson killer. No, Diane, no. Diane Downs. Mm-hmm. Wade Wilson. The Deadpool guy. The Deadpool guy. Yeah. Henry Lee Lucas. Mm-hmm. David Carpenter, who they thought was a Zodiac killer for a minute. Dennis, Dennis Rader. Rader. Look, two are, no, but look, two of them are both of them are Dennis related Rader. to Dennis Rader. So hold on, hold on. Say, say you guys are talking to each other. So <laughs> Thomas Crooks is related to Dennis Rader, and so is Ryan Wesley Rouse. And they both tried to shoot Trump. <laughs> and they both tried to shoot Trump. So they're both related to each other distantly, obviously. Oh my Wayne Williams, Ward Weaver, and Dorothy Puente are all related to this Thomas Crooks kid. Yeah, so he's got some bad blood. <laughs> wow. That's a list. And those people. Yeah, are- does, does, does Crooks have any Mayflower descendants? Uh, not that I found yet. I haven't fully finished his tree. This is what happens when you got it. When there's like a ton of lines, it takes a long time. But uh, I was back in there looking at it, and but he is related to. Um, I texted it to you, a president. Yes, I have uh, a home. Grover Cleveland. Grover Cleveland. Oh, yeah. He is related to Grover sure. Cleveland. So. Over there. But I mean, the chances are that he could be related to one of the Mayflower guys because Dennis Rader is Dennis Rader, yeah. and then you have Ryan Wesley Ralph. They're both related, yeah. so right. there may be it's some probably, sort of. No, it's definitely, I'm still working on it. I, I know he's got a lot of German. That that's always the commonality with a lot of the killers is that German tie. Um, 
And so as I, I'll, I'll continue and I will update if, if I find it, but obviously I'll get excited. <laughs> like, yeah. The John, the fact, that, the fact that him and John Hinckley are related is really interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. I mean, for our listeners who don't remember president Reagan, I mean, you know, they, we actually just, the other, we saw the movie Reagan like a few weeks ago and it's so weird. They start the movie off with him being, you know, attempted, you know, being assassinated, coming out of a, out of a rally or something like that, or you're speaking to people. And so it's just really interesting how some things in history parallel from the past to the present and how things, people think that, oh yeah, this is the worst time. It's the worst time. It's like you, it's it, when you look at, when you watch a movie like that and you see the whole, his whole presidency in a snapshot and what he went through and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of parallels of what's going on. And there was a lot of crazies back then. So but, Reagan was shot at a rally. Yeah. Trump was shot at a rally. Yes. Yeah. And John well, he was already president. Reagan was already president. Yeah, he was already president. But time. he was speaking to, I forget to the AFCL. Some, some, some he was on his way into the car. After he spoke. Oh. Oh, wow. But okay. John Hinckley, Thomas Crook are related is very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. And um, now John Hinckley is related to two assassins. So he's related to Thomas Crooks, but also Charles Guiteau, who tried to assassinate or whatever. <laughs> Let me see. Who did he? He's on the list. Um, Garfield. He had tried to assassinate uh, Garfield, President Garfield. President Garfield. So Charles Guiteau tried to assassinate President Garfield. Yeah. And, and Hinckley also is also related to him. Yeah. Let me find the circumstances of that because I, I thought that was interesting as well. And that's the thing. And there's, there's been a lot of presidential assassination assassinations and attempts more than I, you know. Here it is. Right there. Okay. All so right. the assassination of James A. Garfield, the 20th president of the United States, began at the railroad station in Washington, D.C. Four months after he took office, he was arriving at the train station and Charles Guiteau shot him twice. He was a writer and author. Oh, my. Shot him with a four P uh, four forty two Wembley British Bulldog revolver. Was was Garfield a uh, Democrat or a Republican? Uh, I can't remember. Uh, but. Garfield endured the pain, and it says, I'm trying to think. Can I think I've been shot before? All right, so Garfield endured the pain and suffering from having been shot before dying on September 19th. So he did die from it. it just yes, it was lingering. It was complications. He survived for like a couple of months before he died. Because of infections. But was he, I'm curious, was he a Democrat or a Republican? I don't, I don't know the answer oh, hold to that. On. Let me just click on this. What does it say there? This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Do you have a point of sale system you can trust or is it <clears throat> a real POS? You need Shopify for retail. From accepting payments to managing inventory, Shopify POS has everything you need to sell in person. Go to shopify.com slash system, all lowercase, to take your retail business to the next level today. That's shopify.com slash system. House of Representatives. Oh, he was Republican. Republican. And so was Trump, right? I don't know. I don't follow yeah. politics. But well, and interesting is that both, campaign, Trump, right? both Trump, and here's another interesting coincidence. Both Trump and Reagan were both Democrats, Democrats who switched parties. Oh, okay. But then so they, JFK, wasn't he Republican? No, JFK was a Democrat. Democrat, oh, okay. yeah. I don't know anything about that. JFK was a Democrat. All right. So Lee Harvey Oswald, who was he related to? So he's not related to any killers. He is, however, related to Jimmy Carter, President Jimmy Carter. That is his only time. Most of his is recent Europe. He has only one line and only one ancestor, which is the Carter one. So the only person that he's actually related huh. to. Is but Jimmy that's Carter. interesting because there's so much speculation on whether or not Lee Harvey Oswald actually was the one who killed Kennedy. Yeah. And I, I mean, based on his tree, I'm going to go no. <laughs> You're going to say no based on his tree? No based on his tree. Well, we <laughs> have some, we had some interesting information that relates to another podcast we're, we're, we're doing on the Alcatraz. And there's some there's some connections to Oswald there, too. Uh, oh, with, right. Yes, because there was, you know, because the, 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 uh, 
which we call the mob was involved. They believe the mob was involved in JFK's assassination. There's oh, credible yeah. information based upon that. And um, both uh, Jack Ruby, who ended up killing Levar Harvey Oswald when they were walking through, I think it was a police station or court and it was on TV. It was all captured on live TV was apparently friends with Oswald. And they, and according to documents and some witness statements from the Alcatraz book that we're going over that they were both seen in Mexico beforehand. And so, you know, and this Jack Ruby guy who killed Oswald was good friends with the main gangster, a guy named Mickey Cohen, um, at the time. So there's a lot of connections there. So, and I mean, the, you know, there's there's so much information on that. I just think it's really interesting that Lee Harvey Oswald has zero connections to any of the killers. When and these other really, people, he, all has a, he has a Virginia tie, and it's all the way like one answer, at least like very very slim line that has any kind of uh, roots in the U.S. Everything else is like elsewhere, Germany, England, wherever, recent Europe. Yeah. So, yeah, he's truly <laughs> interesting. Now, Charles Guito, he was born a long time ago. He is related to Hinckley. He also has a fair bit of, I would call it recent Europe, but this is like he was living a long time ago. So, mm -hmm. uh, obviously, the Guito name is French. It's from France. But... I thought it was going to be right away, France. No, it was in Massachusetts, I believe, for for quite a stretch for many generations. Mm -hmm. so I found that interesting. That is interesting. All right. So we were talking about Ryan Wesley Ralph, and then we kind of got diverted. And one of the things that I wanted to ask you and you started looking into is, is Trump. So, you know, you started telling me a little bit about that and we took a little break and we're back here now. Um, so let's talk a little bit about that. All right. So Trump is German and Scottish and he does have royal roots on his Scottish side. He descends from King John of Scotland, who descends from uh, Robert the Bruce, who descends from Charlemagne. Um. That means you're related to Trump. Oh God! <laughs> what it makes well, it related? To there's a, there's a lot of people related to Charlemagne. I mean, yes, but um, they say there was that girl in 2009 who said all the presidents were related except for um, Van Buren. However, mm -hmm. Van Buren does descend from Charlemagne as well, so that would make all the presidents related through Charlemagne. But I did That's see a video recently suggesting that that girl was not right. Um, it had something to do with that only 26 of the presidents actually have royal roots. So that's interesting. And I mean, I'm not about to dig into every president's tree going that far back. Yeah. So, um, but apparently this guy did the work and he's suggesting that it's only 26 of the presidents that have royal ties. And anyways, so, but if they were all related, they would all descend from Charlemagne. Mm -hmm. That's interesting that they all relate to Charlemagne. And I'm related to Charlemagne on my father's side because uh, oh. through the uh, French and Italian side. Mm -hmm. um, that's interesting. But proving this is the thing. So being having royal lineage is not impossible. Finding it, proving lineage to it is a whole other ball of wax. Most people's trees do not, like most people cannot connect to their royal gateway ancestor with a proven lineage to royal, royal ties. So the fact that if it were true that all the presidents have royal roots, they've all got traceable lines to royalty, which JFK is Irish. I don't know if you, you know, Irish records are a bitch. <laughs> Actually, you know what? No, Irish wasn't bad. When we went to Ireland to get his uh, passport, it wasn't bad. They have everything organized. Very organized. Unlike Italy. And you dig through through the church yeah. records. You yeah. have to go through the church records. Yeah, but they all that stuff they digitized everything. Mm -hmm. Because they knew they they knew th that they were going to have to get people to come back to Ireland. And so and they wanted people to repatriate back to Ireland. So they it was very everything's digitized whereas when she was doing her Italian passport, it was a mess. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like we we went to Ireland, we went to the town where my my mother's family's from, a small town in Gort which is just south of Galway. And, and, and it's a town that you would never drive through. There's no, there's no reason to drive through. And it's mm -hmm. been there since the sixth century. And, wow. you know, I'm related to 
the whole town on both sides of my family there. Like, you know, there was the Hawkins and then there was Lenane's and like, you know, it was the Lenane pub. And then across the street was the Hawkins dry goods store. And I was related to the whole town. <laughs> so, it was crazy. But then we went to the, and I was related to pretty much everybody in the whole town. And we went to this one chapel on my mom's mother's side and her maiden name. And we met this priest there and he pulled out the baptismal records, which went back like 400 years and all these beautiful handcrafted books and binders. And you went in there and it was like, it, it was looked like it was brand new. It didn't look old at all. They kept it so preserved and you could see everybody's signatures. And yeah. so, and it, and it was very detailed. I could see my whole family tree, you know, wow. going back to like literally the 1600s. Really? And wow. like you see their signatures and all that stuff and what date they were baptized. And so it's fascinating. I so, think I, I should clarify. You went to, <clears throat> you went there and you found the records. Like for the Irish that came over during the potato famine, they went to Canada. They my, changed. My yeah. Parents, I was fine. He was from like my ancestors, Wexford, Ireland. Mm -hmm. I don't know who his parents were. <laughs> who knows? Um, if I were to go to Ireland and maybe and dig through the church records, but like as far as that, like you go back to the 1700s, that's where the records, there's a problem. Like when they all came over in mass droves, your oh, yeah. recently, um, Ellis Island kept decent records for the more recent. Um, but yeah, if you go to Ireland, if you can get, if you can find the Oh, town. yeah. Like my mother's mother, I mean, she has, you know, she has a passport. And then some documents, the, her birth date is like off. Like one, it's, it's different. The years are different. The days are different from the, yeah. her, because she didn't have a birth certificate. Uh, just mm -hmm. a baptismal record and then her passport. That's all you really had. And then any kind of like there was like uh, health documents and stuff like that. They all had her birthday wrong. So she was probably lying about her age the whole time. Cause I know for, <laughs> I know for a fact that she was older than my grandfather, which back oh. then, which was, you know, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, back then women did, you never ask a woman's age, right? but you know, I'm sure she lied about it because of that. Mm hmm. But you know, all right. So, right. so getting back to these guys, these these killers. So I saw that John Wilkes Booth, the assassin of Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln, is yeah. not related to anybody. He's not. His parents were both born in England. Now his mother has the Holmes last name H O L M E S H O L E S Holmes. Um, you'd think H H Holmes, but H H Holmes is Herman Mudgett, so no. But there is a group of killers that have Holmes ancestors, H-O-L-M-E-S. Mm -hmm. I mean, I might have to dig a little further and go further back. There may be a connection on that Holmes line somewhere, but as it stands, he's not. He's got that right away. Parents were from somewhere else. Yeah. So that's interesting. So then Reagan, <clears throat> he was related to, from what I can see here, he was related to Jackson. No, no, no. Wait. No. Yeah. No, that's a that's a upper column. <laughs> yeah. So Reagan is just that the that um John Hinckley tried to assassinate Reagan. So the yep. oh, I see, I see. Okay. Yeah. I'm looking at the so wrong thing. Richard Lawrence was born in England and he tried to assassinate Jackson. Jackson, yeah. President Jackson. And also again, there's that England. So perhaps him and um John Wilkes Booth maybe have a tie somewhere. Yeah. Person and what's interesting is those guys like Richard Lawrence and the other one who uh, um, Garfield, they just walked right up to them and tried to shoot them. It was very personal. And it was like they were part of – it's crazy how all that happened. Wow. What That's about McKinley? Did you look up – you did look up McKin nothing from McKinley? So that guy, Leon – I can't pronounce his last name. Leon. Oh, Leon. Leon. oh, I can't, Leon. I can't, I can't pronounce it. Souls Gaz. Souls Gaz, yeah. Okay. So his parents were Polish, so no connection to anybody. So that guy tried to assassinate McKinley. Mm -hmm. And uh, another one who was actually born in Germany was John Schrank. He tried to assassinate Teddy Roosevelt. And there's so, no connection no. to any of the killers on the Mayflower tree. And then, and then you asked me about the one. Oh, I didn't write down who she tried. Oh, Squeaky Fromm. She she uh, she tried to uh, assassinate Gerald Ford. Right, and a recent German. So she. Had, now hers, I got all excited. I was like, oh, recent German, right away. 
<clears throat> had some Massachusetts. I was like, oh, this is a good one. But it was all recent. It was all recent German. Yeah. Only a couple generations worth of Massachusetts. But she um, was one of Charles Manson's. Yes. I think she was. Yeah. She was one of part of and his. I, was, I saw that German. I said, oh, I know how I know how he was picking them. <laughs> I'm sorry, but there's something with the German. I don't know. Yes. And, and then you, we were talking a little bit about all of that stuff when we were, you know, cause I'm always fascinated by it. I still have to read this book that's based upon the MK ultra, mm -hmm. you know, Manson, this book called the chaos, but I believe the author's name is O'Neill Thomas O'Neill. And I really want to read that. And, um, uh, cause I think there's a lot more information in there connected because, and anybody who's, I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with MK ultra, you know, program that was designed by the CIA to use, psychotropic and psychedelic drugs as a means to use it as truth serum to try to get people to talk. Mm -hmm. And so they did these experiments both on, on, on inmates and in federal prisons. And Charles Manson was in a federal prison at one point and they, they experimented on him a lot. They also experimented in our other podcasts. Um, Michael's escaped Alcatraz. One of the brothers was put in a federal prison along with Whitey Bulger um, who's a Boston gang gangster, and they were both uh, lab rats in that program as well. So, Island Warner as well has claimed to be an MK Ultra participant. She was too. Well, what she says, I believe that's what she says in her things. Um, and then, I mean, there's definitely something to that. And like I said, I believe that people perhaps were chosen based on their lineage, finding these connections, basically just activating the demons. You know what I mean? It would be quite easy to look at somebody's lineage and say, yeah, this is a good candidate for. Do you think you that know, was the case though? Do you, or do you just think they just randomly, they just had I availability? Not, I do not think that it's random selection. No, you don't think? Don't think no. Um, do we want to get into the MASONs? <laughs> no, <laughs> you get into that. Like there are people chosen for reasons and you know, they, they already know, like, especially the three letter agencies, they know a lot about you already. So I'm sure they picked up on, on a person's lineage because people ask me and say, oh, well, the uh, FBI must be learning a lot from you about you, these, connect, these killer connections. And I said, I'm sure they already know, <laughs> you know. That's, I guess that's another interesting topic to go down there to go see, like, you know, the, the, one of the original uh, leaders of the CIA, a guy named Dulles, the guy who, you know, was, was there for a long time. Curious to see if he has connection to uh, – Mayflower and or serial killers right. because he was, you know, because, you know, everyone based upon that's one of the reasons why they won't release the JFK files because they, you know, because people would be upset to find out that their own government killed JFK and even JFK he was a in the last documentary that Oliver Stone did. There were some recordings and letters where he was talking to Bobby and where he'd only been in office for a short period of time. And he was talking about, uh, how he had he discovered that he has no power whatsoever. They're not going to let him do anything and that, you know, they're probably going to try to kill him. And this is like early on in his presidency. Right. Who shot Bobby Kennedy? But that was, well, they said it was Sirhan Sirhan. And, uh, but, but Robert Kennedy Jr. Basically said he believes that it wasn't just him. And he doesn't believe that the, the shot that Sirhan Sirhan fired off wasn't the bullet. They said there was another shooter there. He's convinced. In fact, Bobby Kennedy Jr. actually went and met with Sirhan Sirhan and basically, uh, you know, to talk with him. Because, you know, I mean, th and I think it's amazing that he went and talked to his father's killer to try to find out and then basically came out with his thought that, that he wasn't responsible for his father's killing, that mm -hmm. someone else was. So, I mean, that whole well, thing, the, the whole Kennedy thing is just a huge, huge rabbit hole. Oh, well, I think something similar happened with the Thomas Crooks, right? I, I heard that there was another gunman. Some um, some people who play with sound and audio record three different sounds of shots, like based on trajectory and all that, so that there was somebody else there, not not just the guy who shot Thomas, but somebody else mm -hmm. shooting towards Trump. Yeah. So. You know? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of theories. I mean, I don't know if we're ever going to find out the truth. I mean, there was videos that were posted online. I don't know how credible they are, but there was a huge water tower that was pretty close by, and there was video of someone 
saying that they saw someone up on the catwalk of that water tower. Uh, but to me, that whole thing stinks because, uh, you know, I mean, the fact that he got that close on a top of a building when the actually they, they were they underneath him, they were directly well, underneath him. They knew he was there. They talked to him three hours prior. They were the guy on the sniper on the roof had his snipe on. on you can see head. it in the, in the footage. He's looking down. He looks up. He's looking down. He's looking up and he's under. And they told him to stand down. And he exactly. Was like, There's a guy with a gun on the roof. And they're like, stand down. So <sighs> anyway, yeah, all of it's so. bad. But it yeah. is interesting that these people are connected, that mm -hmm. Thomas Crook and John Hinckley are related. Right. That to me is the big takeaway from today. Mm -hmm. That is very interesting. And I don't, I mean, is that a coincidence? I, yeah. I don't know. That's the thing we're talking about too. Like why were some of these families on the Mayflower have so many descendants who became serial killers, like the Fuller line? Like what is it with that family? Is it just twisted DNA that just got messed up? Or was it something else? Mm -hmm. Is it something else? We don't know. That's what we're going to dive into. We're going to find out more about that Fuller killer line. Yeah. But the just the amount of serial killers that both of these guys, these recent assassins, yeah. Tommy Brooks and John Hickley, the fact that they're related to so many serial And like, these are bad, bad. I mean, so all the serial killers are bad. These are some pretty badass ones. Mm -hmm. You know, you have, and really kind of, like, you know, Michael Bear Carson, who we, you know, we know his daughter and we, you know, we were developing something for her. And I mean, he was, he was a smart man. These were, you know, Brian Coburn he was, too. He was a mission killer though, right? So, um. He was a what? He was a what? A mission killer. My brother told me. A what? Like somebody, a mission killer. Somebody who is, oh. leaves oh. their, uh. Yes. Like, you know, trying to rid the world of something. Right. Yes. Similar to what, uh. Thomas Cook. Uh, Right, trying to rid the world, like like he's yeah. John Hinckley. Yeah, trying to rid the world of. Right. Yeah, I mean, he defended himself in court. That's how you know he was just like, and a crate basically took over the courtroom. Apparently, <laughs> Michael Carson. Yeah, he was he was a very intelligent man, and sad that that was the turn he took. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. But look at Brian Koberger too. He was studying forensic criminology and psychology. Well, there's definitely a lot of smart guys that Thomas Crooks is related to, and I knew that right away. Um, I believe they said he was extra smart. Yeah. That Dennis Rader too. Yeah. yeah. So that's my point. Like, how does it go from being super smart genius to psychotic serial killer? What is and the bridge? And isn't uh Thomas Crick related to George Chappell? Yeah. Also a genius. Meant the Mensa murder. He's because he was a genius. Yeah. So it's interesting who he's related to. Yeah. And then I mean, two women. He's got Diane Downs and Eileen Warnos. <laughs> and Dorothy Puente, three. <laughs> three women, yeah. That's three crazy. Women cool. Yeah. All right. Well, another very interesting week, Cindy. Very interesting. Very interesting stuff here. I mean, I think that we're still working on this pattern of mm -hmm. the clusters of killers because it's so much. There's so much. Like we have to just kind of unravel it one at a time, I think. One line at a time. I yeah. think we'll start with the fuller line. So we're going to be working on that. The patterns, the key. So you know, I'll do a TikTok. Of, you know, referencing well, this killer is related to these, and they said these Mayflower. Well, because I'm a Mayflower descendant, does that mean that I'm a killer? I'm like, it's not like that. It's not what it means. There's a very specific pattern to these killers' trees and who they are related to. There is something in the DNA. Obviously, if they're new to my channel on TikTok, they have no idea what I'm talking about. You know, but there's definitely something to it. It's nothing to be ignored. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I mean, just having all these names. I mean, when we started this off and just seeing all the names of the serial killers that are related to descendants of the Mayflower. I mean, it just, it, it just, uh, it doesn't seem like it's a coincidence. It just seems, right. and to me, if you really look at DNA, DNA is not coincidence. It's, it's chemistry. You know, it's biology. It's it's just it's all this. And then stuff. it's like does DNA like we've talked about before. So my mother's side is the Mayflower side and mm -hmm. the Hopkins side, which is related. I mean, there's several, not that many serial killers on the Hopkins line, but there's a few. There's like seven. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. And then my my mother's that's my mother's mother, my grandmother. And then my mother's father, his family was related to the House of Christ. Mm. 
Well, so I mean, it's like I don't know. Is there something to that? <laughs> they mm -hmm. traced my grandfather's last name all the way back to the house of Joseph. No, well, the father of Jesus. Yeah. So what is the deal? Is it demon, good, evil, light, dark? I mean, I know I'm, you know, you know, whatever. But <laughs> I'm a, I'm a light for dark people to come at. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Is there something to that? Definitely. I mean, it'd be interesting to see, like, how this Miller family has so many. Why? Why that one specific, fa specific family? What is the history of that family? Right. It's interesting stuff. Yeah. I mean, the, the to me, what's really interesting is that these two guys just recently, within the last two months, two people, anonymous people, people that we knew nothing about, have now become world famous and world infamous, I should say. And they both tried to kill the president. And they're related. Or tried to kill Trump. Yeah. And they're related. And not only are they related, that they're related to significant serial killers. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, what are the odds of that? You right. know? You know? And they're both... It's just strange. It is. It's very weird. It, like, I, you know, when I... When I tasked you with this I, I didn't think it was going to come up like this i was just like let's see what they're it's 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 like literally a pinball machine let's right? see what happens it's like a slot machine you hit the slot machine let's see who related to yeah. really right. crazy mm -hmm. but anyway all right well listen thank you for doing this thank you we'll be back next week we'll figure out what we're gonna correlate next maybe something's gonna happen in, in the world that we'll have to oh, spin yeah. off of but <laughs> I thought it, I thought it would be interesting, especially with everything in the topics right now. You know, with these these two names, mm -hmm. and who knows what we're going to find more about this Ryan Wesley route. You know, I mean, who knows? Mm -hmm. You know. All right, thank All you. Right, thanks, Cindy. Awesome. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.